Hello girlies, gays, and theys. We are back and making another video because it has been so long since I've like actually vlogged and I'm so excited. <sighs> Ju convinced me that I need a self-care day and then we're like, we're gonna go out this Saturday and you know where we're going? Somewhere I've been wanting to go for a long ass time. We're gonna drive to Culver City to go see The Ripped Bodice, which is an all romance bookstore. They have one in New York too, but they have one in LA, which I was really excited about when I had found that out. And yeah, I've been needing some more books. I've like basically run out of all books that I need. I have like the King of Wrath series. Well, the King of Wrath book from the King of Sin series that I need to get on. But then after that, I literally have nothing. It's just all my like old books, like say like the Percy Jackson series, which I'm reading the Heroes of Olympus ones right now. And I'm on the Mark of Athena. But I wanna do one Percy Jackson book and then a romance book and then back and forth so I don't get too bored. So that's the plan, that's the plan. I just need to get more books. And I was like, I could go to Barnes and Noble but I really want to go there. But yeah, that's the plan. Culver City is about 45 minutes away from us and it's gonna be like almost an hour to get back. But Ju doesn't mind the drive. So she was like, it's all good. And I'm like, okay, thank you. So we're gonna go there and then we're gonna see if there's any like spots nearby where we can get a drink or some shit. If not, we'll just come back and get something near here. And trying to think I do have my family over today too so I'm gonna be hanging out with them for a bit I don't think I'm gonna have like any time to actually read today but I'm gonna try at least at night like when everybody leaves because I want to get some reading done before work on Monday I mean I'm gonna have all day tomorrow but I've just been shut down after work I'm too tired to do anything the job is amazing though. I honestly love the job and I just got my first few clients. I was supposed to be set up with five clients, but I ended up getting 15 because somebody had quit. For what reason? I don't know. I'm like, should I be sketched out? Nah, but you know, who knows? <laughs> But I'm really excited to be starting with my clients and getting to know them and be as helpful as I can be. But yeah, that's the update and then I'll show y'all once I get there and then we'll see what I will be buying. Because I'm debating. They have a bunch of stuff there. They have like tote bags. I think they have like bookmarks. They have scented candles. I saw somebody post that there is a zayden candle from like fourth wing and iron flame and i'm like i'm not a candle type of person but i could be possibly i don't do well with smells so we'll see how that goes also it's kind of really awkward that i'm at the very front at the stoplight because i feel like everybody's staring at me with this camera i'm hoping not but i feel like they are my anxiety is up whoa like just landed on my windshield screen <laughs> but yeah i'll see you guys once i get there
Hello guys, this is an update. It's been several days past what I have filmed. I have a microphone now. Why did I get a fancy one instead of the small ones? I, I don't know. I just liked it. <laughs> so I decided to get that. It is now May, May. It's March 3rd. Happy birthday to Bolt. Bolt is turning 15 and he's looking at me crying because he wants me to close the window because he's getting cold. He just got back from the groomers earlier, so <laughs> he's a very naked and cold boy. Anyways, I, I just wanted to update to say I'm going to try to be changing how my videos are a little bit. I'm going to see how it sounds with this, like how far like how close how far i could be with it um and how it works with like the sound around me because my house is not a very quiet house and usually there's people here right now they're not but usually they're very loud if you guys have watched my other videos you will hear like some yelling not fighting but like yelling in the background or just like stuff in general going on and either way don't remember if i mentioned this but my videos when i started youtube was supposed to be strictly vlogs and like possibly like lifestyle like videos at home which i haven't been doing a lot of but obviously that's changed and i'm doing more of a book tube kind of channel more just what books i'm buying what books i'm reading like everything that has to do with books and then same for my instagram and tiktok it's it's all a bookstagram and a book talk now at this point <laughs> and like the videos that i like watching they're more like quiet and cozy videos because that's how i want to feel and it's how i am in general too like i'll get loud from here and there and like wanting to go out which is like where the vlogging would want to come in but i think i'm gonna do more calmer voice and i think it'll help me like mentally too because i don't have to mask as much like as an autistic um so i don't get as drained trying to like put out a front like i obviously get really excited about certain things but there's just times where it's like it's exhausting and i don't realize that i'm masking and then that's why my energy gets drained so much so yeah so i'm gonna try hopefully with the microphone i don't have to try to speak as loud to cover up any noises going on in the background and i just want to do more like cozy read with me videos or mm -hmm. i guess like silent type of vlogs or like what this is going to the, the rip bodice and then going out to eat and everything and then at the end just kind of like sit down and talk about like how it went i don't think i'll do voiceovers maybe if i don't feel lazy about doing all that but that was an option that i wanted to do like i'm still i'm still trying to see like what works for me and like what content i like create like i know what i want to create but in a what form and like how do i want to do it i'm still i'm still getting there so yeah but as you guys know as you've seen I went to the rip bodice and I got two books I'm just gonna show you here I did record myself like doing the whole this is what I got thing but it was without this this just got in here today but let me go get the two books I got and show you guys and yeah so the two books I got I got love redesigned by Lauren Asher and you guys already know I just fucking love her books I read the billion dreamland billionaire series I didn't know I still don't know what this one's gonna be about. I know the second one's coming out soon because she released a design for it and I was confused because I didn't realize that because I'm now starting to follow authors online. Um, I was confused. I, th I was like, I thought it was a pink cover, so why is it purple? <laughs> and then I realized, oh, she's already coming out the second book. This is the first. And I didn't realize until I got home that it says Lake from Billionaires. Like I just saw this and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it. Like I have to read it. And I was seeing Lakefront Billionaires, and I was like, is this going to be a series? Like the Dreamland Billionaire series. And I look here, and it says one. So I'm like, okay, it is. So the next one is the second book. 
So I'm very excited to read this. And then I got okay cupid which i'm pretty sure is a queer author <laughs> and i had this i have i have like a collection on my tiktok this like books that i want to buy and i'm pretty sure i had this like late last year before the book came out and then i was like okay i'll get it once it come uh, i'll get it once it comes out and yeah I like haven't been able to buy any books recently because I've been jobless so but now I have a job and I'm very excited because it's a hardcover the cover is like really cute too like tell me that's not cute I don't really remember what it's about which is great because I don't really like reading Do they call it synopsis I've been calling it summary and I've been hearing people say synopsis Sy synopsis <laughs> so I don't read them like for this i'll read like what the characters names are because i i have ptsd so there's certain names that i can't read i've gotten better about certain names but there's some names where i'll just like start dissociating and like, blacking out so i'm like <laughs> gotta check the names of the characters so yeah so i i don't really want to read i don't think this actually says anything unless inside but yeah, I'm very excited to read these books. I just finished yesterday The Mark of Athena. Finally, I had 167 pages left and I got that done yesterday and I like knocked out and took a nap. But I'm pretty sure I said previously in my last like 24 hour reading vlog that between the rest of like the Percy Jackson books, I want to like insert a romance book so that not so that I don't get bored, but just like so I don't get bored <laughs> and like switch it up and it's not that I hate that I'm rereading the series it's just I don't know if it's like the ADHD or, or what it is but like with anything no matter how much I love like say a tv series or if I'm watching like a movie series or anything I have to switch it up I can't be doing the same thing all the time so I'm going from like greek slash roman mythology to smut basically is what I'm doing so that's the plan and then, yeah, I wrote down a few ideas the other day of like what YouTube videos I want to make because I am switching instead of posting every Sunday to every other Sunday. So twice a month because work and life is just too much <laughs> to be uploading constantly and I'm just exhausted. And for those who of you who have like been watching my videos, you guys know about like my whole health issue and like getting diagnosed with a seizure disorder and then lupus and then all, all of this stuff so my life is just very tiring at the moment and i'm still trying to just grasp onto reality as best as i can because now i'm back to working full time and i love my job this job is actually really great but since i'm just starting out it's still extremely stressful working with the families and such so hopefully it will get better and hopefully I can read more soon because I feel like I'm falling behind. But at the same time, I'm like at a good pace. The thing is, I do want to read. And I tell myself, you don't have to read every single day, but I want to. Like, that's the thing. Like, I need to read, but I'm tired. So then I feel like I'm falling behind. But at the same time, I don't feel like I'm falling behind because it's a hobby it's not a job does that make sense i feel for like a lot of people it doesn't make sense and for others you're like i totally get it so you guys let me know yeah after that i don't know what books i'll be getting but there's like a lot that i have saved for later i forgot what it's called but after reading icebreaker and then collide i'm getting into the hockey ice hockey romances which i never thought i would say this lighting is like so weird sorry but there's this series that i want to read i forgot what it's called off something not off stage off the i not nah, i don't know what the fuck it's called but it's four books i think but there's a fifth one that combines all of them. They're standalone series, which I love. I love standalone romance series. And I really want to read it. And then I didn't know, because I haven't seen people talking about it until I came across one TikTok and I was like, what the fuck is this? So I want to get that. And 
there's two other series that I want to start that are one is romance and stuff the shatter me series I want to read that and good girl's guide to murder which I feel has romance in it but it's more of like a thriller I don't know again I try not to deep dive into everything because I want to be surprised and I've seen spoilers for many things but <sighs> Jalissa just texted me something but yeah I think those hopefully are gonna be the next few books I'm gonna be buying I'm like looking at the books I have now yeah that's that's the plan and then we'll see where it goes from there and what videos I'll be making I know that in June if you guys are subscribed to me you, you guys are here for this but in June pride month I want to get a lot of queer books specifically from queer authors because if not then what um I just need more books with representation in them there's a few that i've read that i've talked about that i felt like so seen in them that i absolutely love but i'm gonna do like a video i, f I keep hitting this anyways i want to do a video based on that and i do have a video that i want to make of books i don't plan on reading that are very i guess you would say overhyped even though i do read overhyped books but it's specific authors and books i will not be reading for certain reasons one of them is an extremely popular book that i think there's two books in the series and i was so excited to read them and i wanted to get the book so badly because i'm like oh my gosh it's gonna be like my first dark romance i guess and i feel like at this point you guys probably already know what books i'm talking about but just a couple of weeks ago i think I saw somebody post about the book and it was a uh, not a positive thing and then I went into the comments and everyone was like yeah I can't believe it and I'm like is this real I'm like is this really what the book is and people were fantasizing about it so that's a big no-no for me um I'll get more into detail once I do make that video but yeah those are the plans that I have for now. We'll see how it goes. I feel like this looks like so fancy. Yeah. And then I'm wearing my Stray Kids merch today. <sighs> Puts me in a better mood every single time. Anyways, I'm hoping this sounds good enough, at least right now, because I don't have to hire my voice so much or speak, speak up with my voice so much. And yeah. But if you guys made it this far, thank you so much. Hopefully you guys are going to like the content that I make moving on from here. And hopefully I get more energy and more ideas to make the content because I really want to get on it. So yeah, if you watched this far, thank you. And yeah, have a great rest of your day. Bye.